Welcome everybody to another podcast from AMP Spot Talk, where you guys are on the spot. Today we have special guest Andrew Chung from P Club and Oscar Feria, supporting member of the P Club. We're going to talk about P Club, what they do, and how do they relate to the community and to the public, and an informational session. So how are you guys doing, Andrew, Oscar? Great, thank you. Happy Monday. Monday, sir. Welcome to our podcast. You know, we're a new podcast here. Um, and it's again sponsored by AMP Staffing Network. So we're going to see where this podcast goes. We're going nice. to go international. We want to grow international. We want to educate the public sir. of what P Club's all about. So we'll start with you, Andrew. Um, tell me about P Club. What does it stand for? How to get started? And, uh, you know, why, what, what are you, what's your goal? What are you trying to do? P Club started two years ago, and it was a band of brothers, five members getting together and saying, hey, we want to ride together, right? We wanted to go out to the neighborhood or the community and also see how many people are in the same wavelength as us and also different wavelengths to get everybody together to band something together so that we can do more of a cause. One of the things that we came across in the very early stages is we noticed a lot of the people that want to modify their cars and there's other people who don't want to modify their cars and p club we want people to express themselves with their cars right mm-hmm. so we want them to come together we, we it's okay to modify we get everybody together and we have a good time riding and we get everybody together with like a lot of current events which is what we go for a lot of people like to get together and one of the things that we do is we work with oscar and Oscar has some great ideas with some events, starting one when we came with the elementary school yeah, yeah. and we created, yeah. I don't want you to tell them. Yeah, I'll, I'll share real quick a story, right? It was funny. I'll, I'll go back to when we I met you guys. So there was a, a Cars and Coffee in Diamond Bar, California, and I was driving to another a group's uh, toy drive and I had some toys and I was driving down uh, Grand Avenue and I saw a bunch of cars. And uh, I was driving a, a 930 Turbo that I had at the time, which was a pretty, you know, nice. different car. And uh, I noticed people looking at me. I looked at them, but I was driving like, hey, like uh, I'll be back in a bit, right? <laughs> so I swing back. They're no longer there. I looked them up online. What was it? It was a Cars and Coffee Diamond Bar. And I went back the following month. And uh, and that's where I met all these guys. I, I parked. I, I kind of walked around. I was about to leave. And then uh, one of our founding members uh, hit me up about my car. We talked. And then Andrew got my number. He's like, hey, man. Right on the spot. Right on the spot. Picked up on me real quick, bro. And I'm pretty easy to get picked up on. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and Lito, if you're hearing this podcast, <laughs> Lito, you know. Lito, you're guilty. Lito, you know, this match you, made in heaven. You're here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Lito hit me up and uh, I met some of the guys and Andrew's like, hey, like, you want to go, you know, hit the canyons with the guys? I'm like, sure. I never thought it was going to become what it's become. It was crazy. Right. But um, we started yeah, with five. We're yeah. currently almost to 700 members. 700 you know, members. I've, I've gained a lot of relationships with each one of our members. We met Bobby mm-hmm. through Ben mm-hmm. and he was looking for a Porsche and you know, made the magic happen. And now he has two. And that's how I, <laughs> that's how I started. You yes. know, and these these vehicles um, are amazing, uh, yes. amazing Porsche yeah. with an A. Yeah. A lot of people call them Porsche, but Porsche for the purest yes. in us. And uh, tell me, tell me about, tell me about the club. I mean, what, what events um, that, uh, that have you done in the past and the future events? I mean, why hang out with a certain group called P Club? Why? So with our club, we don't dis- discriminate towards others. We want everybody to join. We started going to Canyon Runs where, you know, we wanted to get people together and start to learn to how to drive your car because street driving is great. We started doing Canyon Runs. We also did Cars and Coffees and we got people together to share their experiences as an owner, right? And we always ask the question, how did you get your first Porsche, right? It mm-hmm. usually tells a story. When you look at a car, yes, it's just a car, but there's a story behind the car, how they got it. Was it, you know, was it how they got to it? You know, was it hard work, pays off? Uh, what did they do to get to it, right? Uh, with that, we also do other events like what we talked about with giving back to the community. There's like a lot of things that we do. A lot of people want to give back to the community, but they don't necessarily know how to or what mm-hmm. avenue or what transport. So what P Club does is Oscar helps out with getting some um, the sheriff station. We worked mm-hmm. with them and we got, you know, we bought them 
a lunches or a hundred plus yes. sheriffs and we brought the cars in and we had a great time serving them and the, sh the captain loved it right yes. and that's one of the things that we can give back and one of the things that we did was we made these shirts yeah. shout out to t-tam yes um you know we support the blue line yeah and uh there's a lot of events that we've done we've also done homeless collection right so mm -hmm. uh during the time of you know we we gathered we asked all the p club members and said hey guys do you have anything in your house that we can give hygiene items that we can provide for the homeless so that we can give back to the community yeah. in addition there's more we do toy give backs right so with our community we've asked for a number of folks to donate whether it being uh, toys so that we can give it to the kids during the Christmas season or holiday season. Yeah, ultimately, guys, what what it developed to be is it started as a group of friends mm -hmm. and it grew and it snowballed significantly. And then the idea or the thought came by is like, okay, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna differentiate ourselves if you were? We didn't just want to be a group of guys that likes cars. There's a lot of car guys, right? But we yeah. wanted to make sure that we 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 give back also to to our community in different ways like Andrew mentioned. So it, it's kind of developed into, hey, let's get together. Let's go to, you know, drives. But with, with the community in mind, how do we support those that are around us? And uh, especially in, in some instances, some of the communities that are, um, you know, and like we did a toy uh, ball. So I'll, I'll give you guys a quick background. Um, our first big event, um, I used to work for uh, elementary school in East LA. And uh, a friend of mine was uh, the principal at that school. And the idea came up with Andrew and some of the guys said, hey, what do we donate like soccer balls and footballs and, and, and uh, basketballs to keep the kids busy during like off time, mm -hmm. right? Because a lot of these communities guys are in, in like gang infested areas and we don't want these little guys to be, you know, hanging out with, with people that are going to get them in trouble. So we wanted to keep them kind of involved in sports. So we did a big drive. I think we donated five, 800 balls or something like that. Yeah. And uh, it was a phenomenal, it was our first event. Was and uh, they were very grateful guys. And, Ultimately, that's what it comes down to. What do we do to give back to those uh, that are in need? So that was really near and dear to my heart, and I appreciate that. Uh, amongst many things that we do, that's one of the things that we love to do. Another one is uh, working with AMP, and we right, do I nurse, remember that. nurse appreciation. During the COVID times, yeah, right? COVID time. I mm -hmm. mean, front lines and being in the battle lines every day, we wanted to give back to um, the nurses. So mm -hmm. we also had our members come through, do a drive-by, drop off their donation. So... It was awesome. awesome. Yes, John, John Quack, uh, we remember you yes. gave some PPE to us. We really appreciate that. AMP Staffing Network deeply appreciates that when there was no PPE to be found. Yeah. There was no gloves. There was no math. There was no toilet paper. <laughs> remember that? that? What yeah. happened to that? There was no PPE. But P Club, through these relationships, came through. And I deeply, sincerely appreciate that. So tell me now, I mean... What is your goal? There's a lot of Porsche clubs out there. Why P Club? Why 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 would one join P Club specifically? Why? I think for and when you ask me that question, it, it resonates with me of like it's turned into family, right? Mm -hmm. We don't think of others as anything else. We don't worry about other clubs. We worry about our crew. And when we get together, we always have a good time, whether it being me seeing your family, mm -hmm. my family seeing your family, right. my family meeting your family. It's turned into not just, hey, cars and guys. It's it's expanded where our relationships is beyond P-Club. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's moved on from P-Club. And it's great because every so often when we get the team together, we get some new members. And what we do is we also invite the new members out, right? You don't segregate. We bring in the new members. We want to get to know them. And then we form that together. So when you ask me why P Club, um, P Club has been the best thing that has happened to me as far as networking, mm -hmm. right? Because ultimately P Club Network, not only just for the cars, but for professionally, we've mm -hmm. learned that we have other people within different prof professions that we can uh, support each other. And that's mm -hmm. what we, I think, has has grown. It's funny thing that you mentioned it this way, right? The, the cars became a vehicle to meet people, no pun intended. Right, yeah. right. But, no, but you know, sometimes the cars do take a second, you know, they're in the back burner. It's not about the cars. Yeah. It's just the people that have come through them. Yeah, they're phenomenal machines and we enjoy them and it's a blessing to have them for sure. But the friendships that have come to me because of that is priceless. Right. And uh, and why why us? I would say, as Andrew said, guys, it's just the attitude of the people that come through this. It's, it's uh, you know, no no we don't everybody's welcome guys and it's just a lot of nice people 
just overall very nice people. I'll piggyback on that. When we first started the club and we're on Facebook and Instagram, a lot of people wanted to help. So Oscar actually posted like, hey, I need jack stands. Yeah, remember that? I remember that. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, I got jack stands just yeah. laying around. Do you yeah. want to do that? Because you wanted to paint your rims. And yes. it was it started to be how can we help each other? Right. Yeah. And then it started to be there are some free 99s out there that yep. people give out. Right. Yeah. We has given out some suspensions and stuff. But it's not about the free. It's about the, the, the brotherhood coming yeah. together. And there's also um, female members now. We're yes. at 10 percent with females. Ah, so, we're growing too. Okay. so it's not just us boys. It's girls too, and and we want to see more females join uh, the the P Club for sure. Yeah. It sounds uh, great. I mean, it sounds it sounds it sounds great. What do you guys what, what you guys are doing? I mean, you know, I mean, I am I'm, I'm a very uh, active member. Yeah, I could yeah. say that. I mean, I, I enjoy the friendship and the bond that we have. But what I really do appreciate is even though you started with a Porsche, and you sell your Porsche, <laughs> and in that transition time of getting the Porsche. The P Club is with you all the way. Yeah. Sometimes P Club will say, you know what? Bring your other yeah. car or P bring your other plus. vehicle. Bring your SUV. Yeah. Bring your family. doesn't have to be a por- Porsche. And that's what I love about the club is that you don't have to have a certain, like, for example, right. a motorcycle, right? Yeah. Right. So we <laughs> t- we started P Club Plus, which, right. um, which we invite P club members to invite their family right. right and also you know sometimes you can't fit more than two people in one of the porsches so we do want to see the other vehicles we do enjoy them we do a lot of four by fouring too mm-hmm. you know we have overlanding. There, overlanding there's been a lot of variations of p club because p club is a main hub but we have you know watch club we have uh <laughs> i don't want to mention some <laughs> other stuff but we're all into different things right we're just a bunch of guys and i want to mention something because it, it might come across as a little cheesy guys but I'm a 43 year old man. I, I never really imagined this. Uh, mm-hmm. When when Andrew hit me up, I was like, "Yeah, cool. We'll go to the canyons and be that." This thing has become such ingrained, you know, and my family, my kids, my wife, that it's really become a family. It's like my extended yeah. family, and I have my real family, and I love them and all. But you know, for anybody out there that's listening per se that 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 is into cars or, or, or likes you know Porsches, right? Uh, this is a way to get connected with a community of people that are going to be um, like family. Right. We're here to support. Yeah. We're yeah. here to have fun. We're here to enjoy responsibly. Um, we're, we're here to give back to the community. It's like it's just a group of nice people. It's like, why not? Right. I've really enjoyed it so much. And it's gotten to a point where it's we don't always talk about Porsches. It's oh, not even right. about Porsches. It's about yeah, right. life, uh, sure. things that happen, you know, that we want to share, you know, as far as uh, you two, I always call you guys for more words of wisdom, things right. I can do better, anything we can do. Um, you know, as a person be better, mm-hmm. right? So those, those, not only that, P Club's great as a transport, but we've grown. Absolutely. We've definitely grown. But I remember a, a very good experience of me is when my son Lucas turned eight years old. It was yes. COVID time. Yes. And we wanted to get together and we decided to do a birthday drive-by. Yeah. And I, I think how many P Club members showed up? Maybe about more than 20 or so. Yeah. It was a big group. And my son till this day, day yeah. speaks about it my son awesome. lucas yeah. you know i have four sons but my son lucas always oh dad for my next birthday can all the porsches <laughs> come especially yeah. with tony's yeah. with uh yeah. you know oh, yes. the, the hawk the uh, is it what color is it miami miami blue, miami blue. he always met that miami, miami blue. blue car he loves that color my, my porsche was blue at the time as well and tony was like two cars behind me <laughs> and then i hear lucas say i love that blue car and I'm giving a thumbs up, but he's looking at Tony's car. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> that's right. It's a that's beautiful right. car, brother. Yeah. But that, that's funny. And you know, things like that, right? You know, my daughter did the same thing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, right here where, 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 where Bobby lives, it's a private community. We couldn't get yeah. too many cars in. Right. I live in an open community, and uh, I think it's one of the first drives, right? And my daughter uh, was turning 18. Yes. COVID mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of terrible stuff going on. But I put a call out to the guys. We put it in the group page. I think my um, success was that I offered lunch, right? I said, hey, guys, <laughs> yeah. whoever comes yeah. out, I'm going to do lunch, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Carnitas tacos. Mm-hmm. And we had like 60 cars show up. My neighborhood got flooded. And my kid, my 18-year-old, my daughter, was like blown away. Like the love. Bobby's in the middle of the street taking pictures of our family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Guys, again, this is what it's all about, right? In times of, of despair, in times of need, that you have support. You're not alone, you know? And, and again, cars are to the side. Uh, just generally nice people that are there to care for each other. Uh, in time of need. So that's one of the, the blessings that has come to me from this group of people. 
And the crazy thing, guys, we're coming up on our second year anniversary. And let me tell you, nice. we have 109 cars slotted to come out. Oh, from 75? From 75, wow. right? And Overshot it just a little bit, right? Just a little, right? The, uh-huh. So we're going to have a great time. Um, we're going to be at a golf club, uh, golf uh, country club. Yeah. We're getting out of the parking lots, yeah. right? <laughs> going to have breakfast and we're going to have a, 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 a nice cruise to an undisclosed location mm-hmm. but it, the whole thing of celebrating right our anniversary is to remember those and a lot of people who may come out early in, in the beginning maybe got a little bit too busy yep. is coming back out yep. and it's almost like a reunion of sorts mm-hmm. right so the best thing i can tell you is we have a lot of supporters a lot of sponsors that are, are going to be part of it and um, McKenna Porsche is going to be our title sponsor. Thank you, so, McKenna Porsche. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in terms of sponsorship, mm-hmm. how does how does one join P Club? I mean, how does how does one become a P Club? How do you know you're when you're a, a P Club member? How P, P P Club material guys? Here's what I would say: most of our members come in through referrals, through good members. Okay. Right. Um, for you to come in from the outside without kind of being sponsored by someone, because we, we try to protect a little bit of who's coming in. We, we don't just because you have a Porsche. We don't want you to come on board and then you, you're a reckless person. and You're going to give us a bad right. name. So right. we're very careful that the, the folks that join us are coming in through referrals of other friends. Right. And and when a person comes in and says, hey, listen, you know, uh, Tony referred me, you know, it's a done deal like you're in. But again, some people listening might not know anybody in the club. Just reach out. Uh, I'll let Andrew go through the steps on where to reach out. And again, we're, we're happy to bring people on board and, and just be overall nice people, right? Cool people that are going to are gonna add value to the club. But the steps to join would be the following. So um, you can reach us out at uh, P Club USA at IG, right? We can also do Facebook on P Club. And we have some simple questions. But same thing with Oscar said is that there's definitely got to be a sponsor to get in because we want to mm-hmm. make sure that our crew together combined um, are getting the right good people because one person can ruin it for everybody. That's right. So there's, there's that. That's right. For, for the people listening through this podcast, your sponsor sitting to my left, right? If you reach mm-hmm. out through the a- AMP spot talk, that's a way to get in through a sponsorship. And we're not going to charge you a uh, membership fees this time around. <laughs> <That's just laughs> right. Bob, Bobby will cover them. No, go ahead. There's <laughs> a, there's a lot of people behind P club, right? right. There's an the admin crew. There's a no. uh, event team. We, we can't do it alone, right? right? I can't do it alone. So right. there's definitely uh, even the o- original members that came out. And I remember going back to the beginning is asking folks to join Right now, it's gotten to a point where everybody wants to join. And we want to make sure that this, the beginning pieces of what we stand for is no drama, mm-hmm. right? Uh, no reckless driving. You know, that's, that's the biggest two pieces. And of course, right now is what kind of personality are you, you know, to mm-hmm. the team? What, you know, what can you bring to the team that we can all enjoy or help or leverage or right. you know, help each other out? Because, right? because truth be told, guys, even though the vehicles are, are phenomenal machines and, and, and the canyons, or in an open freeway, right? There are big groups. We're, we're rolling in a big group and we try to ensure that we're not causing any chaos in the streets. By all means, we don't want bad attention from the police. So that's something that's very important that people that do join are respectful of one another, are respectful of the community. And we don't want to be looked at as kind of like douchebags, right? We want to be responsible people. So just have fun and be safe. Right. Um, with P-Club 2, there comes a, there's a business aspect of P-Club, right? Yep. And the business aspect is referring family and friends to specific shops, for example. Yes. Uh, one shop would be SSA House. Yes. One shop would be House. Yep. Um, FE Sport. FSC. Yep. FSC Sport. How how do those type of shots, uh, Oscar, <laughs> of course, State <laughs> Fun. Come State on. Bar. Right next to you. <laughs> yeah. okay, so, you know, but in terms of, you so, know, yeah. yeah, for insurance, um, being a P Club member, I mean, how, how do you entail a certain quote unquote discount? I'm not trying to say, Hey, you join P club, you get us, you know, whatever, but uh, how does it, what's the advantage of joining and having these group members that have joined P club that have a business? How do they give back to the members of P club? Right. So one of the things I remember getting my first Porsche was I was concerned without P club, right? This is the beginning. I was like, Oh no, the cost is going to be a lot more, Mm -hmm. you know, coming from BMWs and, and JDM cars, I kind of knew the network there. And when we got, when I got the Porsche, I was like, I got to find some independent shops that are be willing to work with P club. And also most of everybody who 
has a shop are also Porsche owners and P Club members. Yeah. That's one of the biggest things is that we want to not only have them as partners, but we also want to have them as members to grow. So sponsorship, when we work with each um, each company per se or independent, we work with them as myself going mm-hmm. there and bringing my car, um, seeing how they do, and then by referral. Some of the members like you, Bobby, and also Oscar and Tony, going to different locations and understanding what they do and sharing with the group. Right. So that's mm-hmm. how we get sponsors. It's not just, hey, you're a shop and you want to work with us and it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Right. We want to understand what is your... Um, background, what do you stand for as well? Mm-hmm. And, and if you're willing to, to help in the sense that I would see it like once you're in the page, it's a private page, so not anybody could just come in and see what's going on. But when you're approved to be a member and you're on our private page, it's kind of like having WebMD, right? It's like, right. Hey, I have a lump here. Yeah. <laughs> guys, what could right. it be? I put a right. picture. So guys, it's, there's so much knowledge, right? I could tell you that there's half of the things that have kind of gone wrong with my car, which are minor things, but I put it up there and quickly people are, are quick to respond, whether it be Maverick, whether it be uh, Greg, anyone, just again, awesome people that are willing to help people call me for insurance advice that some of them are not insured by me, but they're in an incident. I'll help them. I'm here to help. We're all here to help. So that's kind of the, the brotherhood of it. And that's where the referrals come through, right? Yeah, didn't Anthony from Promax uh, yeah. helped you out, right? Anthony's well, a good guy, mm-hmm. Promax, absolutely. And I met John from Promax yeah. back in the day when he was selling his rims. So yeah. I said, hey, Oscar, you're looking for a wrap. Yeah. And sure enough. And Pro- they, they got my business. And yeah, um, yeah Anthony and, and John at Promax, shout out to these guys, man. They're, I was just talking to Anthony this morning. Great people, great resources mm-hmm. for all of us. And we help each other. We refer each other business. And uh, it's just like a revolving circle. It just keeps on going. Sure. Yeah, we have specific like Porsche individual independent shops like Greg at House. We also have Bin with SSA Haas that does not only Porsches, but he also does four by fours and big in the community with JDM as well and track prep and all that too. Mm -hmm. We have a great tight knit, uh, I would say, P Club network. I always want to say that we have a really good thing going. And if you want to find more information, you can go to, again, IG, P Club USA. You can go to Facebook and find us on P Club as well. Excellent. Future plans of P Club? Expand, grow. Um, we've already already started growing already in Las Vegas. Um, Jeremy is one of our ambassadors out there. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, you go to is. Vegas or you go to San Francisco, yes. San Diego, and who's there? P Club members. Awesome. And you're traveling not with P Club, you're traveling with your families. Correct. Right? Correct. So up north we have Miguel and um and then in, in the Bay Area. And then Bain. I gotta give a shout out with Bain. Yep. He brought in some great members as well. Bain Mendoza, PPF yes. surgeon. PPF surgeon. He's one of our also go to um old school clear bra back in the day. Yeah. Has so much experience. <laughs> 25 and plus years. I've done your GT3. I've yeah. really, I've really yeah. heard that Bain actually does it with his eyes closed, guys. He'll wrap yeah. your whole car and he knows exactly <laughs> what this guy's a, uh, ma- ma- a magician. Mm-hmm. And, and really quick, I'm going to plug in for P Club International, right? I already told yeah. Drew, I need Mexico. Yeah. Para, para todos nuestros compatriotas mexicanos que estén escuchando esto, cuando abramos México y tienen un Porsche, yo voy a hacer su contacto, vamos a estar allá y vamos a expandir completamente hasta el sur de la frontera. Así es que tenemos gente que habla español Vamos a apoyarlo. Este muchacho va a aprender a hablar español. Sí. Uh, sí. Orle. <laughs> Orle. So yeah. you asked me, in addition, we're going to expand. We're going to grow. Um, we'll just we'll enjoy the ride. You know, nothing lasts forever. Mm-hmm. But you guys got to realize when we're in these moments, this is priceless. This yeah. is, but we will continue to do as much as we can to get more members, help each member out there, do more community service around the area as well. And, Again, enjoy ourselves as we're doing it together. Sure. Yeah. sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I always tell my kids, I mean, you know, when I grow older, I want to <laughs> have you guys with me. We might have, you know, a W Club, which is wheelchair club. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, we'll have some nice wheels for sure. <laughs> a wheelchair with BBS wheels. It's going to be a first. <laughs> That's so funny. That's a very good point. And if I need parts like tires, wheels... Same you know thing, what's, network, right? The yeah, you know, what's master right you know what's interesting about that? It started getting to that part where you started a club, and then a lot of people started asking, like, where do I go to get this part? You know, where do I go? And I've become the hub of, like, mm-hmm. sharing my wealth of knowledge to either 
uh, myself where I sell depot lights now. Right, sure. And I also do DSC controllers mm -hmm. for all the Porsche as well. But then as well, I also sh send out to all our vendors as well to get them good deals as well. Right. So it, it not only started as just, hey, get together, but it's it's helping others get to where their dream car or where their dream objective is mm -hmm. in making their vehicle even better. Tell them a little right. bit about our customized merchandise clothing uh, lines. Yeah. Yes. So uh -huh. as a member, you're able to purchase and support the club. One of the T-shirts that we have, we also have others that we put GT3 in the back. We put 997 in the back. Mm -hmm. T Tam Thomas um, came to me back in the early days and said, hey, do you have an idea? And, and Jalen Media, Jalen Media, mm -hmm. he actually Joseph. came up with the logo. And it's, I said, here's P Club. I came up with the name. Let's do a logo together. T Tam took it. And he created this logo, which we still wear it today. And it's amazing. We sell some merch, sweaters, T-shirts, license yeah. plate holders. Yeah. I mean, tumblers. Yeah. We do it all now, uh -huh. guys. There, there's yeah. T-shirts and hats in Mexico that I've taken to my family. <laughs> and they're like, P-Club. I mean, the, the merchandise really ties it all together, guys. And it's uh, great designs. And uh, when we go out to our events, right, we, we roll as a brotherhood and we're wearing shirts. Not always matching, right, but different, you know, hoodies, yep. whatever yeah. it might be. So... It comes with a lot of cool items like that. Another great mention is P Club decals. Yeah. You know, when mm -hmm. you see a P Club decal, right. and we start posting like, "Whose car is this?" Yeah. Right. and you'll usually find out that it's within our 700 members that we have, and it's a car that we all know. Mm -hmm. And that's what's really cool that we've expanded not only in SoCal, yes. all, all right. of California yeah. now, and moving to Vegas and some in Arizona as well already. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Last question is challenges, because I know in every organization, there's always challenges. It's not always fun, right, guys? Yep. It's not always fun. So tell me, Andrew, like, how do you meet these challenges? How do you overcome them? And what currently, right, what is the greatest challenge to you of growing P-Club? I think the overall challenge of growing P-Club is when does it get too big that we kind of lose the secret sauce, right? Mm -hmm. So those are the things. And also, what kind of platform are we using? Because right now, currently, we're on Facebook. Do we use a different platform that we can get together? Those are the things that are in my brain. As far as challenge, though, you know, whenever we have someone that's acting up, we will bounce. You know, right. That's one of the things that we want to keep this together, making sure that everybody is um, good. And you got a lot of A- eight type mentality that are in here and want to do a certain way and you can you can express your your individualism when we do p club those are certain events that we when we get together we're all a squad a unit a family together right, right? and that's what we got so future challenges would be uh, taking the growth mm -hmm. making sure that we keep our secret sauce and making sure that everybody is um, good great um, participants of p club there's other folks that may be in P Club and they're just viewing and maybe they're not as social. It's okay. Right. We don't mind also the challenges of any car. If you feel like you have a Porsche, a 944, a 928, um, any car, Boxster, Macan, Cayenne, bring it in. GT3s, 911, we don't mind. Come on in. Yeah. I think one of the biggest challenges that's happening as we're growing mm -hmm. is that when we do have events going on, they're limited. Yes. See, we can have 700 people show up. So as an example, this coming Thursday, there's a big grand opening to a dealership that we were invited to. And my my uh, contact, the general manager, reached out to me and says, we want to have some Peak Club cars out here. And I put it together, talked to Andrew. I opened up the invite. It was 50 people, 25 cars, and it sold out like in two minutes. Wow. Like gone. Mm -hmm. Quick, right? And then I had like 100 messages. Hey, can I just... Sorry. Yeah. Right? So... Once you become part of the club, try to stay active. Look at the, the site quickly because there's things that are going to come up and you might miss it because it's so big. So that's a challenge because you, you want to please everyone. I wish everybody could come, but we're limited. We It's hard to have a 700 car run. Yes. Imagine that. Yes. That, that is exactly <laughs> yeah. like the second year anniversary is finding yeah. locations now to support our entire the crew. Mm -hmm. it, it's the growth. Those are some challenges, but hey, I'd take that challenge absolutely. any day. Sure, absolutely. And and uh, let's bring it on. Absolutely. Right, right. And let's do some plugins. Tell me about your IG, your Facebook, your... Well, P Club USA is our main uh, IG handle, right, for the club. Um, Instagram, okay. Yeah, and uh, we have uh, Facebook as well. Yep. Mentioned Facebook. it already. That's that's for the club. Personal ones, I think I have like three. I have one IG for every car. It's kind <laughs> right, of embarrassing. Right, right. But um, my main one is uh, M. O-J-A-A-D-O -A -A at uh, IG, right? Mojado. 
which means wet. Wow. M O J A A D O. Instagram. Andrew. So my personal one is GT3. GT3 Drew. So you can find me there. You can ask me any questions as well about the 997.1 GT3. I love that vehicle. It's awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much, Pete Club members. Uh, I, uh, for myself, I'm very happy that I get to join the crew and, and enjoy my vehicle. Um, so AMP Spot Talk, people listening out there. P Club, you have a Porsche, you want to hang out, you want to learn about your car, you want to fix your car, you want parts for your car, this is the crew, P Club, P Club USA. I want to thank you very much. Uh, again, thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Andrew. And we will see you later here at AMP Spot Talk. Take care. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you, guys.